Hello everyone. So today we will be doing intradermal injections. So what do you need? Um, you need your um, TB syringe. So you're lucky we actually have a syringe that says TB and it is a 25 gauge and 5 eighths in length. Or you can choose this syringe right here. And this syringe right here, you will um, see this one more, mostly in the hospitals. And this is a 27 gauge um, and it is a half inch. So either or is fine. All right, so first what we want to do is we want to look at our MAR and we want to pull the correct medication. So I did verify this medication before pulling it and I'm verifying the medication now that I have it. And then again, I'm going to verify it at the patient's bedside. So the order um, says that um, for one TB um, test, it's going to be 0 0.1 ml. Okay, so I'm checking to make sure I got everything I need. So one thing about um, TB tests and stuff like that, you do share um, a multi-vial. So you will share this with your um, your um, floor. So um, there's more than one um, dose um, in here. All right, so we're going to perform hand hygiene. All right, so we're going to... Um, identify a patient you're gonna have them tell them your their name and date of birth and then you're just gonna let them know that hey um, I'm your nurse today and I'm gonna give you your um, TB skin test and you want to explain to the patient the purpose of the test you want to ask the patients do they have any allergies because some patients are allergic to um, this skin test so you want to make sure that you have done that you're going to scan the patient's bracelet and then you're going to scan the medication so then I'm also going to look at the bar one last time to make sure I have the correct medication I'm going to give 0 0.1 ml all right so I'm going to use my tuberculin needle All right, so I got my alcohol wipe. So knowing that this is a multi-use valve, um, you're gonna have to clean the hub of it, okay? All right, we're gonna let that dry. And while I'm at it, I'm gonna go ahead and cleanse the patient's skin. So where am I gonna um, do the skin test at? I'm gonna do it right there on their forearm, okay? So either arm is fine, so right there on their um, for all. all right, so we're going to clean the patient's skin, cold, 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 and you're going to let it dry. All right, so now we see with this um, syringe, um, it's important to use a TB syringe or a smaller um, unit. ML syringe. We're only going to 0 0.1 ml. So if we would have grabbed a 10 ml syringe, there would have been no way we would have been able um, to see it, right? So um, we're going to go to um, 0 0.1, and that's easy to see on here. So this syringe only holds one ml. All right, so I've drawn up my air, and I'm going to insert it into my valve, press it down, and then I'll flip it over, and then I'm going to draw up 0 0.1. All right, so I have point one. All right, so I'm also going to expect the needle, just making sure the needle is intact and all that kind of stuff, making sure my needle didn't get bent or anything. If my needle did get bent, I would have to start over. All right, so I, I will explain to the patient what's I'm, what I'm going to do and you know tell the patient they really shouldn't feel this because it's just going to go under the layer of their skin. So we're not going into the muscle. We're not going into the tissue. We're literally just going right up under the skin. All right, so you wanna make sure that you anchor your skin. Um, you just wanna get a firm grip on your skin. I like to just hold it. I like to pull my skin down just to give me a little anchor on it. It's up to you, all right? And I wanna make sure that the bevel is up on my needle. All right, so I'm gonna go just, I'm gonna go at a 15 degree angle and then I'm just right up under the skin and then I'm just gonna push it in. All right, and then I pull out. And as you can see, my patient has a nice um, little blab. So what I would do is I will take a um, pen or marker, make sure they're not allergic to any of those things, and I would just circle around it. And that is how you do a TB test. 